morning everybody on this early morning Monday morning it's quarter to five in the morning we're all loaded up and we're headed to the Adirondacks we are going on our second annual take the men into the woods hunting trip and their canoes uh, it's a, a little better feeling this year because we know what to expect and everything um, we got everything loaded up this morning and uh, the horses are in the front of the trailer. Jim, do you have any opening words? Good morning. I wish I still was in bed. <laughs> yes. But at least we're early morning people usually, so it's not that big of a deal. So we are getting all loaded up. It's a nice day, isn't it, Beautiful. Jim, for this? Yeah. The horses are acting good here. I'm going to just show you what's going on here. Just getting everything set up. The canoes are now all on the dollies. Loaded all with all their pack. They have their food for five days. All their gear. They all work together real good and got it done very quickly. They all know what they're doing. And all the canoes are attached together by rope. Once again, we're in the Adirondack Mountains, which are a mountain ridge in New York. A group of mountain ridges. I guess the train is ready, Jim, whenever you are. Everybody ready? We're ready. All right. All right, roll. Yeah. 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 So this is part of what they call the Adirondack Park. It's a forever wild area in New York State, quite a large chunk of land, and no motorized vehicles are allowed in this. That's why they wanted me to pull them in with the horses, because they've, for several years now, for many, many years actually, they've been pulling them in by hand. Jim has his chainsaw along because you never know what's in the trail that they might need to get by. Sometimes it's just enough space to get everybody through. <laughs> Their goal is to get a bigger buck than me. That's good since day one, and it's never going to happen. No. Oh, okay. I was considered himself king of the mountain. He was king of the mountain one day. Uh, and he got dethroned the next day, but the buck that I killed. Oh, uh, was it one of these guys that was king of the mountain? Yeah, the guy on the far side. 
Up yeah, front. I figured the that. Old looking guy up front. He might have set me up to, to yeah. asking you that again. Do you guys all like venison? Oh yeah. Yeah. I love it. You guys ready for another year? Oh yeah. Good. Did you lose your partner on this side? Yeah, I lost my partner to COVID. Oh. I literally lose him, but he's just home sick. Yeah, I bet he's missing this. Oh yeah. Feel bad for him. Yeah, he looks like a sad puppy with a little bit of that. Get well soon. Well, it looks like it might be nice weather. Yeah. The horses are steaming a little bit. I'm steaming a little bit too. You cold? I like that, yeah. You're getting cold. <laughs> Go ahead. You never, you never know what you're going to see up here. Yeah. Are we getting there? Huh? Are we soon there? Are we? Uh -oh. Yeah. So when they're going downhill, they have to hold on or hold back quite some, anyways. Especially. Up here, he's only got himself. It makes it very difficult. As you can see the... Hold up! Now we got to get to the bottom of the hill. Well, nope, it's around his tire. We're going to get up in the bottom. Oh yeah, we can pitch this right and make that tire off. No, it's wrapped around it a couple times daily. Okay. Yeah, Down hills are a little difficult. Yeah, it's a lot more work for those guys going down than it is up. Yeah. Can't see that side. Gotta hold back and especially when you're by yourself. Go ahead and stop and just make sure you're no, we're good. Okay. Put the on. So 
so we finally made it down to the lake. Uh, it came upon me pretty quickly because I was having a nice conversation. But um, we got there and everybody began to unload their things. And here is a view of the lake that we were getting to. And it was a nice misty morning. So now that they're at the lake, they have to unpack everything from the canoes, take the canoes down to the water, repack the canoes, and they have to make sure they have room for two guys to sit in each canoe. When they get as far as they can go on the lake, they have to unpack their canoes and carry everything into their campsite and then set up their campsite for the night. So it's a really long day for them. I don't smell very good. Come on, Eddie. Look. Yeah, I don't know what you're cooking. Thanks, Brenda. See you later. We'll see you. Have a great week. Thank you. Thank you. 
So Jim is unhooking Lady and Bill. He's going to take them down to the pond or lake and see if they want to drink. It'll be interesting to see if they do want to drink, if they're going to be too nervous about a new place and all that. We shall see. Come on, guys. Careful going down. It's pretty steep right here. <laughs> That's exactly what I thought they would do. I don't know if they've ever been to a lake like this before. You drink, lady. We take the hot, the hot to them, but we're gonna definitely sit there first to get a drink. That's a handful right there. Well, that was a good trip, in. Eh? Yep. We had one canoe tip. But it's a nice day. It's kind of... Uh, Mm, mystical today with the fog. Coffee tastes good. Mm. We've been having a nice ride out back to the truck. Uh, we met somebody who's packing in for the week and had a nice visit with him. The hey. sun is starting to come out. That was the same same guy we saw last year. Yeah. Just happened to catch him on the road. Yep. This is a very rocky trail, so sorry about the, the bouncing, but the sun has come out and it's just beautiful. Well, that's the adventure for today. We hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we hope that you will. Tap the bell if you want to be notified every time we have a video coming out. And remember, we still have lots of calendars for sale. Abby just got another shipment in. And we have t-shirts as well. Check in the description below for details on that. Have a great day.